Hi everyone. It is April 10, 2019. What do you make of this? What do you make of this? This is a picture of Durham, uh, North Carolina. Pollen. Oh, really? Pollen? Is that pollen in the sky? Is that pollen? Well, that's what they're claiming. It's a pollen apocalypse. A pollen apocalypse. Durham, North Carolina, it turned the sky yellow this week as doctors in the region have reported an uptick in patients complaining about their allergy symptoms. Wow, the Big Apple apparently also is experiencing a lot of pollen. Look at this, the Big Apple, along with the rest of the country, is also experiencing high counts of big pollen. So you would think that if you click on this link, it would bring you to the Big Apple story regarding pollen, and it doesn't. Iowa apparently has a lot of pollen as well. This is an allergy map uh, for, I guess, the entire country. Let's check it out. So, pollen, 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 all over pollen, pollen. Okay, um, and nowhere in South Carolina, really. Well, I washed my car a couple of days ago, and I'm sorry I did. I washed the inside, the outside, because I couldn't stand all of the pollen. Well, guess what? Go into my car today, and there's pollen inside, there's pollen outside. And I feel like crap, but, well, I guess now uh, late onset whatever is possible. Never had allergies before, but uh, I have these sneezing attacks, and I've had them for months, so it came about not from pollen months ago. Uh, Look at this. Okay. Well, have we ever seen pollen like this? Okay, maybe, maybe I just, uh, it was never in my field of vision. But that's a lot of pollen if it's pollen. Okay? And why is it so high up in the atmosphere? Well, you guys can tell me I'm not a pollen expert. I have to read some of this to you. This is amazing. All right. Uh, this came in at, uh, I think, 9.30 a.m. Here it says published 8.26 a.m. So I actually saw it at 9.30 a.m. After I went to look to see what was happening with our bomb cyclone. And actually, there's a little bit more precipitation than I saw earlier today. There was just this weird uh, line of precipitation. And then just splatters, which really, we don't know if it's precipitation or not, because radar has been, well, uh, very active and displaying a lot of anomalies. You know, the scattering effect sure is taking, uh, well, there's a wide variety of scattering now. So, seems to have calmed down a bit. I'll be posting a video later on on frequencies showing you what this looked like uh, this morning, which was pretty intense. And I have a subscriber in the Fort Worth, Dallas area. And she emailed me this afternoon. She said she got a wind warning on her phone. The first time she ever got a wind warning. A wind warning. So she went... I don't know, you get these apps, I guess, and then they don't give you very much information, so she went to check it out. The warning, wind, minor. 
minor wind. Now they're warning people about minor wind. She went outside, it was breezy. She said, she doesn't recall as a kid, her mother saying, well, if you go out, be very, very careful because there's a breeze. Well, I want you to check out mainstream media reporting on this. What? On what? On what? The bomb cyclone. Uh, it's going to be bringing thunder snow, blizzard conditions, downpours to 200 meters? I don't know. Here. Oh, 2 million. Oh, so M200 million. Uh, yeah. Storm threatens 200 million Americans over the next couple of days. Potential historic storm. Oh, God, and it's bringing a variety of precipitation types. Strong wind gusts in excess of 50 miles per hour. Uh, very heavy snow totals. Prepare now for a severe winter storm. South Dakota, Minnesota, you could see two feet of snow. Some areas were being blasted were. Some areas were being blasted. Snowfall rates are two inches per hour. Where was that? Where was that? Because you know what? I couldn't locate snow today. And I've checked this site several times. This is uh, College of DuPage. Different. This one is the University of um, Wisconsin? Yes. Okay, so radar should be picking up a bomb cyclone, and we don't see it. College of DuPage should be bringing up a bomb cyclone, but we do not see it. All right, well, why don't we go to the satellite? Let's see what's on the satellite. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> uh, certainly radar should be picking this up, but it doesn't. Okay. Uh, you can see the microwaves, the ripple effect in what, I guess, where is the snow? Where is the snow? We see a lot of rain, see some um, high frequency heating, which is kind of hard to see what states these are in because the lines, California, Nevada, here in New Mexico, uh, Utah, um, well, here's Texas, Oklahoma, yeah, Kansas, Nebraska, South Dakota. South Dakota, are you getting hit hard? North Dakota, are you getting hit hard? Uh, is this Iowa? Are you getting hit hard with a lot of rain? But I don't see any snow. And it does look like they're... They're working something, I don't know, because you, you can see the jet stream carrying, you know, the, well, uh, the right portion of this storm to the east. And, well, something's happening here that is pushing this, I don't know, a little bit to the east, maybe up north. Oh, jet stream. They have so assaulted you. So maybe they're still trying to work a bomb cyclone, but it was predicted for today, Wednesday. Uh, <laughs> bomb cyclone, a rapid intensifying weather system. Okay, but isn't this written in the past tense? Were some areas were being blasted by snow? Fall. So some areas, meaning some areas in South Dakota and Minnesota, you guys in those states, please let us know. Were you blasted with a lot of snow? Heavy snow, wet snow. Did you get any thunder snow? Thunder and lightning accompanied by snow. We're calling it historic because the widespread heavy snow. All right. It's not on satellite and it's not on radar. So we have to rely on all of you guys in these states. Bomb cyclone, 
It's rapidly intensifying. More than 700 flights in and out of Denver were canceled. Canceled? For what? What'd you get? I don't know. More than 150 were canceled for tomorrow. What are you going to get tomorrow? Uh, looks like whatever you got is leaving you. This is Colorado. So, why are they canceling flights for tomorrow? I mean, what's happening here? I don't know. Isn't this a strange time we're living? We strongly encourage employers to consider either fully canceling work today or at least allow employees a half day and to go home by noon. It will produce life-threatening travel conditions in parts of the plains and upper Midwest. The heavy, wet snow may also lead to power outages. Parts of Missouri, Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, and Tennessee could face damaging wind gusts, large hail, heavy rain, and possibly tornadoes. Okay. Tennessee, Kentucky. Here are all of those states, Illinois and Indiana. And, all right. Well, what's going on here? You know, I'm beginning to think that we no longer have reporters, and artificial intelligence is, is just throwing out these articles. Reality doesn't matter anymore. They write past tense when the thing hasn't happened yet. You know? Like, are you noticing that? Mainstream media? It's, it's, it, it can't be human beings, right? I mean, a human being couldn't possibly write for USA Today fiction, right? I mean, they wouldn't stoop that low. Or would they? Okay. Here, I can't get this article. I can't get any of these articles. I can only get the front page of the Denver Post because they want me to take my ad thing, my ad blocker off, and I'm not going to do it. But I'll link below. Uh, Colorado weather live updates since April. Blizzard sweeps into Denver. Denver weather. Blizzard to strike metro area with up to 9 inches of snow. 14 inches possible in the mountains. Um, bomb cyclone two, two meaning uh, they had one a month ago, a month to this day, I think. Well, bomb cyclone two. This is another article. What's the headline? Front range. Depends on whom you ask. Really depends on whom you ask. There was no bomb cyclone. Okay. Um, to think that they're they're literally getting rid of everybody who who I don't know does some research and you know does not speak the official narrative tries to get to the truth as best they can that they're ditching us for this for this crap that you get. Fiction, when it's supposed to be nonfiction, uh, reporting things that are not happening, not happening, and writing it with such dramatic flair. You no, know, you should, you should uh, let your employees leave at noon so they can get home. Uh, Life-threatening travel conditions: snow, two feet, heavy and wet, and blasted. Thunder snow, thunder and lightning and widespread heavy snow and, oh my god 200 million affected this is the same kind of reporting that I posted videos on those hurricanes that were developing off the coast of Mexico and we had them <laughs> on satellite for weeks on end and then they would claim oh my god Mexico got hit with this hurricane but it wasn't a hurricane anymore 
and then the hurricane supposedly traveled through Mexico, traveled through the desert, hit Arizona, and was going to go on up to Utah as still a hurricane. Hurricane somehow, they don't lessen when they hit land anymore, right? They just continue <clears throat> to go on and all the way up to Utah, and then it was going to go east. And it was going to be causing chaos and havoc for, well, perhaps it was 200 million people. Uh, and nothing happened. Literally nothing happened. Nothing happened the next day. It was gone. And the next day, they were on to some other reporting. It didn't happen. But meanwhile, for those who are glued to mainstream media and think they're actually getting the truth, they're like freaking out, they're running to the stores, they're getting you know, the, the candles, the uh, batteries, the milk, the bread, all that crap, for nothing. But, you know, again, uh, just because, just because I don't see something doesn't mean it hasn't happened. I mean, that's what we're dealing with today, you know? Uh, so, what this is, I'm not really all that sure, but this has been going on for hours, this extremely low hit, extremely low frequency hit into Illinois. Going right through Ohio, am I getting those states right? Well, I look, you know, it's all over. I'll link below. I don't even want to play it. You can play it. But listen to these two uh, jerks, kids. You know, actually, do please listen to just the first few minutes. Producers checked on this. Mm -hmm. Four weeks ago today, we had the other bomb cyclone. The first cyclone. bomb cyclone, and now this one. I just, uh, you know, it's hard to wrap your brain around it and digest it all. Big storms. And, uh, but the bomb cyclone term has been around since 1980. Okay, so that's... It's that just with social media now, it sounds sexy to call it... Oh, it's been around since the 80s. Didn't you know that? I sure never heard bomb cyclone until recently, but it's been around since the 80s. The bomb cyclone, uh, uh, and well, we've had two of them this month. And we've seen it trend <laughs> and all that, so yeah. people love using it, obviously. There you go, yeah. So uh, the pressure did drop uh, low enough that uh, it, it can be called a bomb cyclone, and it just deals with a big low pressure drop in a 24-hour period. That's all. It doesn't have anything to do with the snow. It is uh, raining and snowing in a lot of locations out there. There's wait, wait, wait. A bomb cyclone. It just has to do with the low pressure drop. Wow. Okay. Well, that cyclone, you know, the twist of like the hurricane, you know, why are you calling it a bomb cyclone? And listen to this. To live look downtown. Here's the big storm now. It's uh, it spent the day or the morning, I should say, right around. The Where is the big storm? Did you see a big storm? Did you see a big storm? The Four Corners area. Now it's sliding into Colorado. There are th there's a live look. Okay. Now because I can't track it myself because it goes up to this uh, play icon. But where is the big storm here? Where is the big storm? You don't even see a big storm, but he's claiming there's a big storm. Are you? Are you supposed to doubt yourself? He's claiming it's a big storm. Okay, the white are clouds, right? And the green is, well, precipitation. This is the big bomb cyclone. But downtown, here's the big storm now. It's uh, it spent the day or the morning, I should say, right around the Four Corners area. Now it's sliding into Colorado. There are thunderstorms with it. A lot of thunderstorms around Colorado Springs now, and it's mixing in with colder air. So look at those lighting up just outside of uh, Colorado Springs. Now for us here in Denver, take a look. We're already seeing some changing going on here. Everything green is rain. We've got snow in the foothills and the mountains already, and we do have snow changing over in Aurora down to Parker. Our weather watcher Phil Curry down there sent me a little text, and he said it is snowing. Moderate. 
moderately down there, and we also uh, are seeing a little convection near Strasbourg out here. We might see a little thunderstorm kick up as that thing comes together right in that area. Downtown, though, it's... Okay. Are you getting... Uh, are you... Are you with me? <laughs> Am I not alone in watching this? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What the hell are we living? <gasps> what are we living? Maybe there are several realities going. And um, we're in one. And these guys with some Americans are in another one. But then you walk along the streets with the same people and where's two feet of snow? All right, look. Wow, I... I'll link below to everything. I hope everybody is okay. I'm glad to see nothing really has happened, but hell if I know. I don't know. Has anything happened? I need to hear boots on the ground. You guys, Colorado. You guys, all over these states where they're claiming massive amounts of damage and chaos and havoc and heavy snow and two feet and uh, coming down fast and flight cancellations and employers send your employees home. It's, it's, we have wind. There's wind. It's minor. There's a breeze. Send them home. We need to hear from you, all of you in these states. Are you okay? <laughs>